180, Bravo, Bravo, good afternoon to you. Report your all good. Uh, 2,000 feet on 1014, Bravo, Bravo. Bravo, Bravo. Hello YouTube, Wycliffe Barrett here, X-Plane Dedicated. Today we're going to look at Leeds Bradford Airport, Echo Golf November Mike in the beautiful county of Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. This is by Orbex. Orbex of course has sponsored this video. Many thanks to them for supporting the channel. Orbex, they make beautiful airports all over the world for all of the platforms, FSX, P3D and of course X-Plane. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell and also give me a thumbs up. Leeds Bradford Airport in Yorkshire, it's on a plateau, it's got the distinction of being the highest airport in the United Kingdom and also uh, is formerly known as Yeadon uh, Aerodrome and many locals still call it Yeadon Airport. It has its own reality TV series on uh, UK TV and uh, that has been quite entertaining to watch. With over 40,000 aircraft movements in 2018 that equates to 4 million passengers so uh, it's, it's doing quite well for a small airport it's uh, got over 20 destinations and many of the uh, airlines that fly from there are well known in the UK such as Jet2, Ryanair, KLM, Flybe and TUI unfortunately no more Thomas Cook but that's another story looking at some of the key features it's got full PBR representation includes a EGHP heliport uh, one kilometer north of the airport it's HD textures throughout highly detailed PBR ground you can see that as we you can see the sun reflecting off the concrete there uh, highly detailed uh, service equipment and clutter models although I will say there's one trick they've missed and that is there is no moving airport traffic, no ground vehicles moving, which uh, is a little bit unfortunate because that kind of spoils it for me a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. And it would be a lot better if there was more ground vehicles. What they've done in the uh, exterior environs around the airport with the traffic is absolutely superb. And there's a, a tunnel that goes under a hill um, and uh, you see cars going in and coming out of that tunnel and apparently that is very very hard to do in X-Plane because of terrain mesh also there's a, a unique terrain mesh for this so that it does put it on that plateau and when you see the runway um, you can see the undulations in the runway and you know especially when you've got uh, runways follow contours switched on within X-Plane. Night lighting is absolutely superb there, you can see that it's a very well lit. Uh, I'm not sure whether they use uh, LED white lights at the airport or sodium, air, sodium lights, but looks absolutely breathtaking and as you come into land at night you've got this huge pool of white lights in front of you. It's very, very good indeed. Sand controlled dynamic marshallers and they are really good. I you know they give you all the hand signals and everything. Custom animated GSC with HD people models and all over this this airport is really good. I I like it. It's it's vibrant, it's colourful and it just it fits in so well. And of course as always with Orbex you get a huge piece of real estate around the airport which blends in with uh, Orbex True Earth Great Britain North. If you haven't got that, of course, you will have this huge area of ortho photo scenery that comes with the airport uh, on top of your default scenery. So, you know, it, six or one, half a dozen of the other, it still looks great. And as you can see here, as I do this approach into uh, the airport, I think runway three, two, uh, very nice, very hilly. Uh, very scenic as well if you take some external views. What else can I tell you about this airport? It, it serves Leeds, Bradford and the wider Yorkshire region including the cities of York and Wakefield and the districts of Harrogate. So it, you know it, it pulls in quite a large catchment area, a number of passengers flying from there. It's not an airport that I would travel to to fly from because here in Wales of course we've got Bristol, we've got Cardiff, uh, Birmingham is not that far away or even London Heathrow so I wouldn't be travelling up to Leeds Bradford to take a flight anywhere in the real world but in the simulation world of course I can fly in and out of here as much as I like and uh, of course it's a, a big hub for Jet 2. A lot of Jet 2 holidays going from the north of England and the northwest of England. Realistic road traffic on surrounding streets. It's a 60 centimeter auto imagery 
blended to match to a Great Britain Central, not Great Britain North, as I said, I do apologise. Uh, the prices for this, if you're in Australia, it's $32.95. Uh, if you're in the US, it's $22.35. Uh, in the, If you're in Europe, of course, um, which we won't be soon. If you're in Europe, it's €20.31. And, and if you're buying it here in the United Kingdom at the present time, with the exchange rates as they are at the moment, it's £17.96. That's well under £20 for an absolutely superb airport. I know a lot of people have been looking forward to this airport. They've been waiting for it to come. Uh, it has arrived and you can now get it. Many thanks to Orbex for supporting the channel and uh, sponsoring this video. Orbex, of course, as we well know, a brilliant company that have been around for quite some time producing um, fabulous airports and sceneries for um, the other platforms. Finally, they came to x -Plane last year and they've done so in great style. So well done to those boys and uh, I think that this is an airport that you can all enjoy. I mean, look at it. It just sits there, the, the texturing, the, the runways and taxiways, they're all wonderfully marked. They've got, you know, that kind of appearance that they're slightly worn and a bit dirty and grubby. As I said, the one thing for me that would have made this really perfect, I would have given it a 9 out of 10, would be if it had some ground moving vehicles. I'm sure they'll sort that out in a in a, in an update because Orbex do like to give their updates uh, out as quickly as they can. So there's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it, you've made it to the end, that you've found it useful. As always, uh, my name is Wycliffe Barrett. This is Explained Dedicated. Don't forget, REF Cosford is coming on the weekend of the 4th of October. It's a two-day event this year, so that's the 4th and the 5th. I'll be there for the two days. I'll be there on the Friday afternoon setting up. And uh, many thanks once again to Wired to Fire for uh, supplying my PCs for the show. So, there we go. That's it, everybody. We'll see you soon. Take care. Peace out.